looks like a car on its wheels. We're fixing to give the cops a call right now. We're at the third boat ramp of this search. Uh, we're just putting the boat in right now, actually. It's a, once we get out here, we'll turn the sonar back on, show you what we're working with. Now we got the boat in the water, got the sonar running. Now you can see well, way over there is where the boat is. It's like three feet deep. So we're out here a ways, it's like 20 feet deep where we're at. Check out what we're looking at. That's what we're looking at today. I mean, it's like, it drops off deep out in the middle, but right now you can see how fast it's dropping off the closer we get to shore. Deep enough for a car, not by much. So we're just gonna scan this area all the way up to the dam again. See if we can find anything. So, you got a hot tip that there is a pond nearby that could have a car in it. Yeah, a viewer reached out to me, sending me some uh, screenshots of a local pond, and they did a bunch of research on this case a while back. And I think they actually emailed me a while back, but I forgot that we were coming here. This was a, this is a, it's been a minute. But in the pictures that she sent me of this pond, it looks like there's a vehicle in this shallow pond. Now. We gotta take it with a grain of salt because very unlikely because it's a Google Maps picture, you know, it's kind of pixelated, blurry. But I don't know, if we don't find anything, I wanna go fly a drone over that and maybe try to dive it and check it out. People have stacked up here. I guess everybody on boats comes out. Pretty interesting. Yeah, it looked like right it's like bottles everywhere. Look right here, like there's nothing but tequila and patron. <laughs> Man. Apparently these people here like to party. Pretty crazy. About 26 feet deep. Still haven't seen any cars yet. I don't think we're going to either in this spot, but it's still worth searching. Lots of residential area. Lots of houses everywhere. Stuff, but... We'll still search a little bit more. And then we'll go head over to that pond that the viewer told us about and see if there's a car out there. We've been on the river for about an hour, hour and a half now, checking stuff out, and uh, I think we come across something. I paused the sonar. I want you guys to look at this with me. Now, what do you guys, th dude? I mean, to me, that looks like a car on its wheels. You know, I mean, we're in, it's. I got to pause, but how deep are we? I mean, we're at 12, 12 feet. feet. My image just got distorted, but that's what, kind of what I saw on my down imaging. Yours looks like a car, sideways, just, like that. It really does. The shadow looks right. It's, it's maybe a rock that looks the right. That's confused, they're tricking us. I mean, it's happened, <laughs> but that picture really has me wondering. We should drop the magnet on it and see if it grabs. Yeah, we should. All right, so there is whatever that is below us, and it's metal, and the magnet's on it. So I'm on it. You got sure. the magnet on it, saw it. So yeah, put the buoy on it, and we'll just leave that here and go scan the rest of the park real quick. Right, uh, drift real quick. Huh? I drift. <laughs> Try this. We got it marked with a buoy. What we're gonna do now, though, since we're this is the first thing we came across, I'm gonna scan the rest of this area really good up past the park. And then we'll come back and dive that real quick and see what it is. So we're just going upstream here, and it looks like we just passed another car. Let's go back over it again, see what it looks like. Slow down just a little bit. I think that's it on the left. Yeah, wherever that pipe is. It's definitely a car. It looks like if I turn around right here, here. We should go right over it again. Do it. We just went over it again. What'd you get? Yeah. I'm Same look. I don't know. All I know is it's a vehicle, so it's like we're diving two vehicles now. So we got the magnet. We got a mark. We got the second car marked with a magnet. You can see on my live scan, it's right below us. So he's tying it off right now, and there we have two cars. We're gonna dive here real quick and see if one of these is our guy. Okay. Yeah, if you are, if you're in the right position.
Finally got to that first car. What'd you figure out? I got down there. Visibility was great. The current was bad until I got down to the bottom, then I was fine. And I, I kept finding a bunch of stuff. Like I guess that came out. The trunk was open. It was an Elantra. A silver Elantra had that plate. 355 LRH. What is an Elantra? I think it's a Mazda, I believe. Mazda? I Hyundai, I think, actually. Or Hyundai. Something like that. I always get the logos confused. Right. But it's an Elantra. Okay. <laughs> and uh there's the plate on it. Expired this year, actually. Yeah, so it's it has not been down there very long. It's pretty fresh, dude. Window. Like, all the windows are up except for the driver's side. There was nobody in there. There was like it was weird because I thought it was like a bag of soil, but it was, a, it was a Gatorade bag. But like it was it was kind it was starting to fill up with mud. You could tell this vehicle has not been in there long because it wasn't really really full. But it was starting to fill up. Pretty clean all the way around though. Yeah, that's cool. How so, much air you got left? I'm out of air. Well, we got another. <laughs> yeah, I need to get another tank. Ta um. Swap your tank out. I'll go mark that, and then we'll dive this last one to get it over with. Well, that's. I don't know if someone's missing. I mean, I, I felt around. I felt like there was no keys in the ignition. Like I don't know if it was a newer car. Maybe it's a keyless. I don't know what uh, what year. A launch. Yeah, they might have keyless entry. But like, I didn't feel the like, key. It felt weird. Like maybe somebody ripped the keys out if there was. I have no idea. I don't know. But not been in there long for sure. So neat. Um, it's not our guy. That's, no. That sucks. Maybe the next one will be. I got one more to look at. I don't know for sure. All right, there he goes for car number two.
Chicken car dove. What did you find, bro? So I got down. You know, it ended up being a truck. Boo. Chevy. It didn't look like a truck. Chevy truck. That's what's left of the plate. It was crumbling apart. Truck 7,000. That is a work truck. Yeah, I mean, it was a big truck. TK278MMG. Hmm. Yeah, that's a huge 14. Or 20. Is it be a 20? government truck. Yeah, no, the expiration, so it's not exactly. I don't know. I just think it, I think it's a big truck. Yeah, it's a big truck. I know when it has a 7,000. Yeah. Weight. I think that's a requirement. Um, nobody was in it. The driver's window was up, but the passenger window was down. But when I looked in the passenger side, I didn't see anybody. It was pretty full of mud. And down there a minute. There's a chance, you know, but one of the windows was open. So I got the plate. I'm, you know, if we, if anybody else tried to get this late, like it didn't have much longer to last on there. It's just crumbling now. So I'm glad we were able to get that off so we can, you know, identify it and locate it where it is. It's not too, too old, but it's kind of got a lot of sticks and logs built up around it. So got one of the cars still marked way up there. Uh, just to show the cop where that truck is. We're fixing to give the cops a call right now, get them down here and let them know about these cars. We got the tags, so they're going to be able to identify them pretty darn easy. So yeah. make it happen, Adam. I'll set it up. Hey, how's it going? Um, I was calling to see if I could possibly get a officer out to my location at the McNaughton Spray uh, Boat Park or the park. All right, Adam, we'll have officer on the way. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. The last two times we did this, uh, the cops came in code three. Like they thought we told them that somebody is drowning in the river. It was nuts. We'd have had a helicopter overhead one time. So uh, let's see how they respond to this one. Yeah, yeah we called. So we found a couple of vehicles in the water. Man, why'd you have to do that? Uh, seemed like a fun thing to do. Yes. Yeah. I gave him the numbers of dish badge. He said they were stolen. That one's a lot newer. Hyundai Elantra, and that's a Chevy truck. Do you think it's maybe just where they settled? Do you think it's like a settling point or something like that? Or what do you mean? Like if they would have somebody driven and drove it in the river, you think they would have floated? Like I don't know. I don't. So die. one is where that orange buoy is right there. Yeah. It's possible. It can't that ball. Yeah. I mean, it could have come up up here. I, if they're stolen or dumped, you know, I'm. It, there's no telling. Where's I think that other, one's the, the other one's like right, right where that boat is right now. Okay. A little closer. So that one may have come up on that side. And there's three or two. Two. There's two here. Okay. One. One's all the way in South Bend. I think it's different jurisdiction, oh. right? Yeah, you'll get to call somebody else. Oh, okay. So that come that's easy. marked by the buoy. The yeah. one with the buoy is the truck. That one could probably come out with a road and rotator. I think. Well, it's it's going to be a lot of work. Yeah, be so a what, chore. <laughs> what, what happens is we usually, we have, there's one year we had 20 some vehicles that were actually pulled out of here. Really? Wow. Because they, what they do is they steal them, yeah. joyride them, and either slam them into the, the river or something to that effect. Yeah. yeah. So um, what we'll do is we, we mark the location from what you guys have, and then we get a wrecker and come out here as soon as we can and, and get it. All right, guys, be careful, be safe. Yeah, no, thank All you. Right, enjoy yourself. Call us if you guys need anything else. Okay. So we're at the pond where a viewer um, sent Adam an aerial shot and what looks like a car in a pond. Now, the place looks like it's private property. Uh, it's gated off, but it looks like it's might not have been private property maybe back in the day a little bit. I don't really know. But either way, we're going to fly the drone over it, see if we can see anything on aerial footage in the water. If we do see something, we might have to hike back there bend the rules a little bit and uh, see if we can find this car. I might take my snorkel gear with me because it's just a baby pond, so the car can't be that deep. But uh, let's start with the drone footage first. This is probably not a smart idea, but whatever. Oh, it's very Blair Witchy. I can honestly say I don't like this. <laughs> there's some people fishing with their kids, so and someone's camping. Yeah, there's a campsite set up. So much for private property, I guess. So somewhere right there is the car. Can't really see it because of the glare. But it's there. 
I just don't, I don't think that's the car. We got a good shot of it with the drone. Now he's going to fly it again. I can't see nothing. Take off. Oh. Really good shot right here. Let's not crash it. It's right there. No forward to the right. Straight ahead, right there. That thing looks old. Yeah, it does. So, pretty sure it is a car. It looks old though. I hit something. Let me get in here. Kind of, you think it is? Uh, go forward. Because that's the hood. Dude, that's been there so long. There's no way that's our Mercedes. You know? It's def definitely a car. Definitely not a Mercedes. Oh, you can see the steering wheel right there. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. It's the trunk. It's a big car. I don't have a light. I would say I would get in, but... It looks like the trunk. Definitely the trunk. It looks like it's missing the, the deck lid. What is this thing? It's a two-door. Oh, it's a single it door, I think. That's two door. Where's the trees? Make sure I don't hit these things. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's not our vehicle. There's no way, right? No, heck no. That thing's been there a long time. Let's see if there's anything other ones in uh, out here. Man, good job to the viewer. I know. Found that, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, that definitely isn't the, I don't, I don't think that, that's definitely not a black Mercedes. That's, what, what, what were we thinking? 2017? Five-year-old case? No, that's not, that's not our car. That thing's been there. I look like it's rotted away. But it is really cool, though, that, that viewer found that thing. You know, just with Google Maps. But, uh, Adam's gonna scan the rest of this pond really quick, see if there's any other cars out here. It's kind of creepy how clear it is. <laughs> I would definitely like to have more answers on this particular car that we're looking at right now, but do you, you do have to think that this is somebody's this is private property. Technically, it's gated off. Even though we got people over here fishing, there's a tent sitting up. They get so it's not like I mean it's easily accessible. The locals probably know all about this, but um, maybe whoever owns this dumped the car a long time ago. But from what we're looking at right here, this thing is super old. Been here a long time. Definitely not a five year old dump site. You know for. A black BMW. But that's going to do it for today's video. I'm so glad you guys joined us on this adventure. Make sure to like and subscribe this page so you don't miss any of my upcoming posts. And until we meet again, my name is Jeremy, and I will see you guys on the next dive.